Considering the ongoing Israel-Palestine crisis, this can be a great opportunity to test your knowledge about the conflict. Are you ready? Let's begin with some historical background. When did the State of Israel officially declare its independence? Is it A. 1946, B. 1948, C. 1952, or D. 1960? The correct answer is 1948. What event is considered a key catalyst for the Israel-Palestine conflicts? Is it A. Six-Day War, B. Balfour Declaration, C. Oslo Accords, or D. Camp David Summit? The correct answer is Balfour Declaration. Let's move on to territories and borders. Which territory did Israel annex in 1980, leading to international condemnation? Is it A, West Bank, B, Gaza Strip, C, Golan Heights, or D, Sinai Peninsula? The correct answer is Golan Heights. Next question. What does the green line refer to? Is it A, Israel's official border, B, the 1949 Armistice Line, C, the Georgian River, or D, the Mediterranean Coastline? The correct answer is the 1949 Armistice Line. Moving on, let's continue with peace processes. The Oslo Accords aimed to establish self-rule for Palestinians in which areas? Is it A, West Bank and Gaza Strip, B, Golan Heights, C, East Jerusalem, or D, Sinai Peninsula? The correct answer is West Bank and Gaza Strip. Are you enjoying this far? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up as we continue. Which country brokered the Oslo Accords? Is it A, the United States, B, Egypt, C, Norway, or D, Russia? The correct answer is Norway. Let's dive into conflicting events. Do you know what the Intifadas refers to? Is it A, peace agreements, B, political parties, C, armed uprisings, or D, border disputes? The correct answer is armed uprisings. Operation Protective Edge which took place in 2014, involved conflicts between Israel and which resistant group? Is it A, Lebanon, B, Syria, C, Hamas, or D, Fatah? The correct answer is Hamas. Moving on, let's look at Jerusalem. What is the significance of the city of Jerusalem in the conflict? A. To be the capital of Israel only. B. To be the capital of Palestine only. C. To be the capital of both the Israelis and Palestinians. Or D. Has no relevance to the conflict? The correct answer is that both Israelis and Palestinians claim it as their capital. The Western Wall is considered a holy site for the Jews. Do you know its location? Is it A, Old City of Jerusalem, B, Bethlehem, C, Hebron, or D, Tel Aviv? The correct answer is Old City of Jerusalem. Still enjoying? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already done so, let's continue. Now, let's look at some United Nations resolutions to help resolve conflicts between Israel and Palestine. What did United Nations Resolution 242, passed after the Six-Day War, call for? Is it A. Israel's withdrawal from territories, B. Recognition of Israel's sovereignty, C. Annexation of the West Bank, or D. Formation of a Palestinian state? The correct answer is Israel's withdrawal from territories. The United Nations General Assembly granted Palestine non-member observer state status in what year? Is it A, 1988, B, 1993, C, 2000, or D, 2012? 
The correct answer is 2012. Lastly, let's look at current affairs in the region. Not too long ago, the Abrahamic Accords were signed in 2020. They normalized relations between Israel and which two Arab countries? Is it A, Egypt and Jordan, B, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, C, United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, or D, Lebanon and Syria? The correct answer is United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. Finally, we've come to the end of the challenge. Let's finish with this last question, which is often on everyone's lips. Who is the current Prime Minister of Israel as of October 2023? Is it A, Benjamin Netanyahu, B, Naftali Bennett, C, Yair Lapid, or D, Benny Gantz? The correct answer is Benjamin Netanyahu. Thanks for watching till the end. We hope to see you again in the next video and remember to like, share, and subscribe before you go.